What's going on, Nikki? Everybody's here. Time? Decided to. Good sound to hear. Song. Good song. being tired. How's everyone else doing? We're excited we get to see a 3DS capture card finally! It's surprisingly not bulky at all. Like, I thought it'd be like a big thing on the back, but it's it's actually it's just a little box. After all the modifications, it just comes with a little bitty box off the back. Which is totally acceptable. Although it's a little, it's kind of like right behind the uh, A, B, X, Y buttons, so it's kind of in the way, but it's... We had a customer last night, couldn't believe what she said, or what she did. By the way, this is a very text-driven game. Um, do you guys want me to go slow so you guys can read it all, or do you care? <laughs> oh, trust me, Zazzy, I've already beaten this game before. I just wanted to play it again. <sighs> you should follow her advice. Yo, what up, Levon? Ooh. 
Long time no see. Apparently y'all were hanging out at uh, Phantasma stream. How'd that go? Well, they don't have to answer that question because I was there for like uh, 30 seconds. The audio was only coming out of one ear. She still hadn't beaten her 30 minute time. So I was like, yeah, you know what? I think I'm, I'm outy. I, Zazzy, I don't drink wine, so I have no idea. She kept resetting and her audio card, her capture card, screwed up. Well, see, that's why you don't do resets. Read his reaction to my customer. <laughs> Accidentally get rum thinking it's wine. Send me into something that will make me sick. Oh. Forgot temporarily. What's going on, Gilaras? How you doing? Chat is a little bit off. Move it right there. There we go. Good. Has anybody ever played this game? Because it's it's phenomenal. It's one of my favorite games of all time. <laughs> you came to the GTS. I gotcha. Doing good? I'm doing great. I got my 2DS capture card in. I didn't think I would get it in today. It shipped from Japan yesterday. I'm like, ah, oh, I'll probably get it in like a week or something like that. No, I showed up on my doorstep today. So. I see. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Move on, you have to wait another few more weeks. It is nice. So this is very, I'm going to keep saying this periodically, this is a very uh, text and conversation driven uh, game and if anybody is lost and they want to know what the heck is going on, let me know. I will explain. How's that defendant Mr. Butts to the stand? What do I do now, Chief? Um, I think the video turned out pretty good. Um, it's an hour and a half long, <laughs> which is pretty ridiculous. Um, so, but it does have a lot of useful information, and I actually go through like every single part of the run, and I'm like, okay, here's what happens here, here's what happens here, here's what the best way to get around it, like here's what you need to do, like oh this I messed up on this part, well you know you gotta adapt, and here's some other ways to do this and stuff like that. So, hopefully people look at it and they will see that it is good. It is a good learning material. Although I'm pretty sure no one is watching any of my videos. Like, I had to begrudgingly, you know, get Levon to watch one of my videos. And, uh, so... Uh, Zaz is gonna start cross-stitching again. Just take a day off if you must get the rum. <laughs> you must really like rum, Levon. I tricked him into it. <laughs> well, thank you, Zanzi. I appreciate that somebody's watching them. So I made all these. I made all this material, and I ain't seen nobody. Well, every once in a while, someone's like, "Oh, you know what?" I did see your run. Like I know I recognize your name because I saw you do the the guide. And it's like, yeah, yeah, that's right. Somebody's watching my guides. According to her passport, the victim was in Paris until the day before she died. By the way, this is a court game, so it is all about interrogations and using evidence to call out people's lies. In case nobody's ever played Phoenix Wright, it's turning for Um, thank you, Zazzy. I think I'm pretty good. Although, I was listening and I said, um, like... 30 times in the first three minutes or something like that? It was, it was pretty bad. But I just a little note in the description saying like I say I'm a lot. I'm sorry. Uh, turn the day before the mortar, dude. No way. Here's that she had several sugar daddies. Uh oh, daddies, sugar? Yes, older men who gave her money and gifts. Yo. Hey, Zebra is now following. Thank you. How are you, Zebra? What do you think of her now? Do 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 do. Zazzy, I had one, like, double mar margarita, and I feel woozy. 
Nikki, uh, I've never been to court, but I'm pretty sure this is pretty accurate. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we see the defendants going, DUDE! NICK! What do you mean it's irrelevant? Cheat she-dog? I'm just gonna drop dead. Next question. You went to the victim's apartment the day of the murder, didn't you? Gulp. Did you or did you not? <laughs> maybe I did, maybe I didn't. <laughs> it's totally accurate, Gilras. Real talk. Like, playing this game made me want to quit my job, or not quit my job, but quit, like, trying to be a game designer and just become, like, a law defense attorney. But, uh, then I came to my senses and I was like, you know, that's not accurate, so. A poutine bar? Oh yes. It's there. I win. Yo, not looking good, Mr. Butts. Objection! The defendant is lying. I'd like to call a witness who can prove Mr. Butts is lying. They found the victim's body just before making the gruesome discovery. Defendant was fleeing the scene of the crime. Uh oh. Mr. Payne. A witness was selling newspapers at the, news at the victim's building. Frank saw it. To the stand. Now, in case anybody wasn't paying attention, um, there was an opening cutscene to this case in which a man dressed similar to the man in front of us um, was standing holding the murder weapon. So, make of it what you will. Uh, Zazzy, stay up. And awesome, hello. Mr. Sawit may proceed with his testimony. Going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. I looked inside the apartment and there I saw her lying there, a woman not moving, dead. I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. The phone in her apartment wasn't working. I went to the nearby park and found a public phone exactly 1 p.m. the time of the murder there was a blackout in the building Now I have a record of the blackout. Awesome is awesome. Is today your last day in the nine day stretch? Hope so.
now we have to find out how to expose the lies. And, uh, in his testimony. Gotta find some contradictions. Next three off, work two off, two. Goodness. All right, let's see here. So this guy says the time that he walked in and found the body was at 1 p.m. So he is claiming the time of the death is 1 p.m. while the autopsy report says it was between four and five. Objection! Found the body at 1 p.m. You're sure? Certain. Hard to believe. That's one of the things. Um, we're going to find out what that he means by that. The autopsy notes the time of death sometime after 4. There was no buddy to find at 1 p.m. Objection! Look at him squirm. We got him right there. Gotta put him on the spot. Round two, fight. Must have been watching TV. Oh, dude, that totally, totally fits the alibi. Oh, man. You know what to do. Gosh, if only there was a way to prove that TV wasn't working. Let's check our evidence here. Hmm. Oh. Objection. Nikki's on the Nikki's got it on the on the right track. So I was trying to say. <laughs> oh. Nikki, you seem so surprised that the bot would say hi back. F but one? Oh man. Great. Zazzy, what are you lost with? I can catch you up if you need to. Toupee. 
My apologies, Your Honor. It uh, must have been the shock of finding the body. Let's hear your testimony once more. Everything court confuses you. Sings, don't be yawning. This is a fun game. Okay, so, Zazzy. This guy claims that my guy is the killer. Right? And he claims that he was there at 1 p.m. He saw my guy leave the house, and then he walked by the house, saw the person was dead on the inside at 1 o'clock. Ah, no audio. You know, if you uh, sacrifice some of your points, Nikki, um, you'll be more of a cat person at some point. So, guy claims he came in at 1 p.m., saw the dead body. So, when he goes into, then we say, well, it couldn't have been at 1 p.m. because the autopsy report says that the person died from 4 to 5. So I know you're lying about this. So how did you, how did you get that messed up? And he goes, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Um, I, I heard the time from the TV. Um, it, must, it, it must have been, that's, that's what it said, 1 o'clock. And then you go, okay, well, how did he do that when there have, was no power in the, the building from noon to six? So I was like, oh, we caught him. Okay, I was like, oh, well, I didn't see, uh, I, didn't, I didn't hear the time. I saw it on that table clock. So, uh, hang on, who survived? Hey, Levon made it out alive. Congratulations, Levon. Hey, it's Lover of Dogs. Objection. I played this mission like recently, so um, I'm kind of aware of all the things I'm supposed to do because it's a tutorial. So, Zazzy, that's the thing, is that there was no clock. This is the Thinker statue. We're about to find out why he could not have seen the time on the wall clock. As the witness has stated, this statue is indeed a clock. The neck is a switch. Tilt it, and it says the time out loud. So... Well, because you're not playing the game, because I've already seen it, so I'll be, I'll, be more, um, I'll be more thorough with the evidence and stuff. Squirrelish with the host! Thanks, dog. Appreciate it. Or squirrel dog. Squirrelish dog person. Appreciate it, dude. Well, Mr. Wright, obviously he, it's a clock, so he knew it was a clock. Three button salutations, dude. And the Fugu Network with four viewers. What up, everybody? <laughs> We're playing Phoenix Wright, which is a court game about lies and evidence and it's really great and i hope all of you play it at some point in your lives um if any of you are lost at any point let me know and i will explain the situation oh if he problems with the testimony now ah you know he knew it was a clock uh, even though you have to physically hold it in order for it to say the time so i mean there's no way that he would have known that if he never stepped in the apartment right like i mean it's obvious it's a table clock. Oh wait, it's not. 
escaping hole in the witness testimony. Only way he could have known the weapon was a clock is to hold it in his hand. If the witness testified, he never entered the apartment. Clearly a contradiction. The witness knew it was a clock because he entered the apartment. You were inside the apartment the day of the murder. Oh yeah? Prove it. Prove I went in there. Better than that, I can prove you were the one who killed her. Levon, if you stick around long enough, maybe you'll get that many points. I promise. Okay. Nah. From now on, I'm just going to start banning people who start asking for stuff. Not banning, I'll just time you out. It's such a great game. Food Network, yeah, he's wearing a purple suit. He's a pimp, dog. He's going around selling magazines. It's like $30 for three games on on the 3DS, so. Baseless? Look at the witness's face. Grr. Would the witness care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim with the clock? That day, I... I never... <laughs> Shut up, I hate you. It was him, I tell you. Saw him. He killed her. He should burn. Burn. Give him death. Also, hello guys. Thanks for the host, by the way. I think I said that already, but I appreciate it. Honor, a moment. There isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claims. Mr. Wright! Claim the sound of the witness heard came from the clock. Do you have any evidence? Alright. Sound Mr. Solid was definitely this clock. Yeah. <laughs> he got wrecked by the weave. Yeah, you're right. Simply. on the clock now. Runner, I have the clock. Very carefully. I think it's 825. So it just said 825. It is currently 1125. So what does that mean? Ooh, what do we know? I don't know. What does that mean? So, pay attention now. The guy said that it was at 1 o'clock. Why? Because he saw it on the clock. So, but it was actually at 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock is when the actual murder happened, and at 1 o'clock is when he said it happened. You notice the time difference? That's 3 hours. What time did it just say? It said it is 8.25, and the current time is 11.25. That's three hours off. Do you see the connection? It's three hours slow. The discrepancy, Mr. Solid heard the actual time of death. Try to talk your way out of this one. Got one thing. While it may seem like that clock is running three hours slow, proves nothing. How do you know it was running three hours slow the day of the murder? Ooh, see, now we're getting into some really tricky stuff, so you can't prove that. You don't have a case. He's right, though. If we can't prove that it was that time at the time of the case and that we didn't just make this up on the fly, we have nothing. So close. Seems you lack the critical evidence to support your claim. Fortunately, it ends the cross examination. Look what happens. You treat me like a criminal. Criminal. 
These are all slime. Almost had them. There's got to be a way. Without you. That's like I do. <laughs> Not so fast, Mr. Sod. Chief, listen up, right? Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Not like this. Nobody can prove that. Well, yes. But that doesn't mean you can't still win. Thinking outside the box. So how can we prove that this clock is actually accurate and it is supposed to be three hours slow? Assume the clock was three hours slow. Think through it. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? It's so dramatic. I love it. It's great. Figure out the reason, you have your proof. Right? Right? Think of a reason as why the clock would be three hours slow? I can think of a reason, because I know what I'm doing here. Wait, maybe I can prove it. Must have evidence somewhere you can prove it. So obviously, our client didn't do the job. We know that. We can trust our client. So, because we can trust our client, that means that this guy obviously the one Mr. Sawit here is obviously the killer. So how do we prove Mr. Sawit was the killer? Do we have some evidence? There you go, Nikki. Have you played this game before, Nikki? I think you have played this game before, or you are incredibly observant. There's a piece of, piece of evidence in our court record. Take a look at the bottom left screen here. So we have the attorney's badge, which is useless. We never use this at any point. An autopsy report, which says she was killed between 4 and 5 p.m. We have a statue, which is three hours slow. You have not played this game before. Nikki, you would love this game, I think. You are very observant. I think you, you're doing really good at this. The victim was in Paris the day before the murder. Now, this game is supposed to take place and uh... Oh, hush. Gold splits, Gold splits means ducks. We're working through this. The victim had just returned home from abroad the day before the murder. As we all know, this game takes place in America, by the way. Somewhere in America. It doesn't say exactly where. But it assumes the time difference is off on purpose. It's 4 p.m. here. It's 1 a.m. the next day. There. The clock wasn't three hours slow. It was nine hours fast. Mr. Did it? <laughs> Just starts foaming at the mouth and falling over. <laughs> Order! Order, I say! He was arrested and has been taken away, Your Honor. That's right. That's right, Mr. Wright. Uh, no, I played this game before. I'm playing it a second time, though. Um, I just really love this game. So I want to play it again. I want to play this uh, one more time. <laughs> this game is actually really, really well done. Um, almost all of, I think all of the cases are incredibly well designed, um, which makes this game really fun. Uh, this is the trilogy version, so there's the first three games all in one. The first three are probably the best. Uh, they made two or three more after this. They made, um, no, they just made two. They made uh, Apollo Justice, and they made um, oh, Dual Destinies, which are two games that came out. And um, I liked both of them, but they just didn't have the charm that the first three did. Um, but um, there is a new game, The Spirit of Justice, coming out soon that I am really excited for, and that comes out in September. And I wanted to play through it one more time before we reached Spirit of Justice. So 
Go for it, Zazzy. Court finds the defendant, Mr. Larry Butts. Not guilty. Yay! Confetti! Court is adjourned. Oh man, those moments in the last bit of the case are always really great. Um, there is a right latent crossover, but that is not um, that is not the spirit of justice. Spirit of Justice is a new game that is coming out in September. The right latent crossover came out like a while back, but it does exist. And I haven't played it yet, and I um, and I was thinking about playing it. But what I instead did was I just bought all of the latent games and I'm playing through them casually myself. So if I'm not really a fan of the right series or the latent series to be honest, so I don't know. I probably will get the crossover just for more Phoenix Wright, but I don't know if I'm going to get any more of these uh, latent games. Did you play it? Was it good? If it is good, I'll probably give it a shot. Do I need to play any of the other ones? Uh, yeah, I've I've played all five of the main games. I've even played the uh, Miles Edgeworth Investigation series or game, the first one. The se the sequel to that game was never released in America, which sucks. But uh, there's a Jap there's a there's a English fan translation out there, but I don't know if I'm gonna put the time and actually do that. Good job in there. Congrats. Thanks, Chief. I like the Paul of Justice, mainly because um, oh, what's the what's the prosecutor's name? Um, oh, I just forgot. Oh, what's his name? Somebody in the chat's gonna know. Um, the the guitar guy. I played the crossover, but I've always been a fan of the latent series. Okay. I mean, I kind of like the latent series. It's just, um... <laughs> I like, kind of like the latent series. It's just that the puzzles are actually, like, really difficult. And I have to, like, use a guide all the time. Because I'm, like, I'm sitting here for, like, 30 minutes. Like, why can't I solve this stupid puzzle? And then it's always something I'm not thinking about. And I'm like, oh, god, I can't believe I didn't see that. Well, unfortunately, Larry Butts... Um, not happy because his girlfriend died. Uh, Cindy, Wendy's gone, man. She's gone forever. Fair enough. I mean, if my girlfriend died, I'd still be sad, even if I did win a court case. Harry, <laughs> Harry Butts. No, that's not his name. Harry Butts, innocent. That's right. Dinner, movie, my treat. Is this evidence that actually I made this clock for her? I made one for her and one for me. You made this? Thank you. I'll keep it as a memento. Now this is going to be important for the next case, so everybody pay attention because there's going to be a quiz. I was so into that chick. She just was playing me for a fool. Don't she just make you want to cry? Oh man, Larry's always a sucker. So, squeeze me. <laughs> nah, you don't sympathize, okay? It's okay. Don't we have something that proves how she felt about him? Dogs, you have two of the games, but you never played them? <laughs> if you still have them, you should play them, but then again, if that was a while ago, you probably don't have them anymore. Fuck, you made for her, Larry, and she took it with her when she traveled. Touching moment. <laughs> if you 
still have them, you should give them a try. Um, the first one was kind of annoying, because the first uh, Layton game, is like you go to a city that's like all about puzzles. But it's really annoying because you literally take like five steps, and everybody's just like, hey, solve a puzzle for me. And it's like, the story is like you go, and there's a guy who is like the head of the manor that died, and he has a, like, a, a huge fortune that he's left to whoever finds finds the deal. So, like, everyone's on a mad search for the money, but they can't find it. And so you go there, you go to the manor, and you talk to the people that are, like, his kids and, like, his family. You're hanging out with them, and then something happens, and you come back, and then one of the people is dead. And, uh, and so you find one of them dead, and then the guy, he's, like, his uncle... Just like, oh, my nephew, he's dead. Oh, no, this is so bad. Oh, man, this reminds me of a puzzle. Here, you should solve this puzzle for me. It's like, you're... And like Even Professor Layton is like, you can't be serious right now. Like, <laughs> um, Curious Village, if you have it. Um, well, it's okay. Um, awesome. I'm going to teach you how to play Phoenix Wright. Uh, but the Curious Village is the is the first game. But it's just like, are you serious? Your your nephew just died, and you're like, let's solve puzzles. It's like, this is it. Like, get out of here. But we still have to solve the puzzle, so. Let's be off. Oh man, we're hitting it off with the chief. First trial came to a close. Pretty sure he's not gonna pass. <laughs> oh man. Go to Ross, go get some ice cream, man. Just hang out and have some ice cream. That clock was soon gonna be at the center of another incident. Dun dun dun. Said so there's gonna be a quiz. Don't forget. One promise. I wouldn't be able to. Well, we beat the game, guys. Oh, there's a new episode. Okay. Ominous. Ooh, spooky. Bring, 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 banana phone. Do, 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 do. This is Maya. Hey, it's Mia. Mia. What up? I've called in a while. It's so busy. How you been? It's all your fault that I'm lonely. Aww. Just decent. Okay. <laughs> 